What's up? Hello everyone. Um, this is the presentation of the instance of detection, induction, and abduction. So let's start. The, the first prim, first uh, thing that we need to discuss is the instance of deduction. So the, what is a detective in, uh, in instance? Uh, it is basically a top-down approach. If premise are true, your reasoning leads to a logical certain conclusion, which is why the deductive argument is intended to be 100% true. For example, Consider the premise 1 saying that all polar bears are white. Premise 2, Nanook is, is a polar bear. So the conclusion, therefore, Nanook is white. So the instant of deduction goes from general to specific. Next, we have instance of induction. Instead of induction, it starts with bottom-up research approach. Uh, basically, it is more of a scientific findings that mostly carried out by inductive reasonings such as accumulating proofs, connecting dots, and come up with a hypothesis and theory to explain the observation. Here arguments conclusion is highly probable if the premise are true, so instead of being absolutely certain like deductive reasoning, with inductive reasoning, the argument is meant to be establish a high probability of the conclusion. So with the evidence we have, it would seem highly unlikely the conclusion would be false. For example, consider premise 1, Nanook is a polar bear and white, Premise 2, Mishka is also a polar bear and white. Premise 3, and another Poncho is a polar bear and white. So we concluded all polar bears are white. So as you can see, it goes from specific to general. Last but not least is instance of abduction. It does not lead to a cert logical certain conclusion. Conclusion here is less probable than inductive reasoning. In fact, by abductive reasoning, you are making an inference. It's almost as though you are guessing based on the evidence you have in the observations you have made. You create a theory where the simplest, the most likely conclusion will follow. You start with the incomplete set of observations and goes from likeliest possible explanation and is and, and is used for testing the hypothesis with what, whatever information is available. For example, premise 1, all polar bears are white. Premise 2, Nanook is white. Conclusion, Nanook is a polar bear. So, it is a probable conclusion of what you know. It's mostly used to detect the crime suspect. Thank you for watching my video.